in this lecture and in the next few lectures we will be learning about basics of recursion so recursion is very very important concept in understanding any of the programming language and it's really difficult to understand when you are reading it for the first time so using some problems i will be helping you to understand recursion and i will give some methods that will help you track the recursion the problem is recursion becomes really difficult to handle when the problem has larger input size so to help you track the recursion calls i will give you some tools and after this lecture i hope you will understand what is recursion and how it works so we will start with some of digits of a given number okay so this will be our problem that you are given an input integer n and you have to find the sum of digits of those numbers that number so if n is 123 so it has three digits 1 2 and 3 so sum of those digits is 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6 so you have to solve this problem recursively so how to do it so this is a simple piece of code that can find the number of digits the sum of the digits of a given number and that number can have any number of digits this problem will solve it okay so the problem again as stated is given a number n find the sum of the digits recursively okay so if it this problem let's see what's the approach is so if the input is 123 so the sum of digit is again 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6 if the number is 3278 sum of the digit is 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 8 which is 20 okay so now how to solve this so we will first understand the concept okay so the basic idea is that okay we have a number n which is 123 okay mm -hmm. so how will we first thing is that of course we have to extract the digits okay so we have to extract 3 from this 2 from this number and then 1 okay so we can extract these digits so how so at least in this number i can extract the lsb using what if i have divide this number by 10 then whatever remainder is there so that will be my lsb okay so 123 percentage 10 so this is 3 because if you divide 123 by 10 so that gives us a remainder 3 okay so remainder when n is divided by 10 so how to get now so the, okay so one thing i got at least first step was i could get the lsb but how to proceed to the next digit okay so here it helps is to use recursion okay so now i have 123 so 123 percentage 10 i get 3 so now what happens i have to get the second digit which is 2 so idea okay so one idea is okay so somehow if i get 12 and if i do 12 percentage 10 so i will get 2 so again i get the second digit but how to get 12 from this so what we do if you think a little deeper so 123 divided by 10 so we get a quotient which is 12 so if this number now recursively if you keep on dividing the number by 10 and get the remainder then again divide the number by 10 and get the remainder if we keep on doing like this 
so we will get the other digits okay so for example 123 if i divide it by 10 so percentage 10 it gives me 3 now if i divide this number by 10 so it gives me 12 as quotient again i divide it by 10 with the so remainder is 2 so i get the second digit i divide 12 by 10 so the quotient is 1 so 1 modulo 10 again is 1 so i get all the three digits so this is the idea we are repeating something with some repeating some process that okay keep on dividing the number by 10 and the output get the remainder so this way you will get the digits so this is the property of recursion that we keep on doing the same work but on some different inputs okay so what happens if we have a very large number like n is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so first digit how will i find divide the number by 10 and get the remainder so lsb is i can easily get it is 7 so i just divide the number by 10 and get the remainder okay what do i do next to get the second digit 6 what i do is i divide the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 by 10 so i will get what 1 2 3 4 5 6 because it's i'm getting the quotient and then and this quotient i get just by division because i'm doing an integer by integer division in c okay so then what i do to get 6 i will just again get the remainder by dividing it with 10 so i get a 6 so i get the next digit so now again i have this input i divide it by 10 again so i will get 1 2 3 4 5 i get modulo 10 so 5 so this is the third digit so this way i know that okay i can keep on moving but till what i should stop somewhere okay so till when is the question so if i go so n by 10 if it is equal to 0 this means what so if n by 10 is 0 so it means if you have the number n must be somewhere between a one digit number so 0 1 2 3 till 9 so if i divide any of these number by 10 so it will give me a quotient that is 0 so in that case it's just a one digit number and i will give the number itself as the remainder okay so this is the code in recursive form so int sum of digits input is n so if n divided by 10 so if the quotient is 0 it means it's just a single digit number so this implies a single digit number okay so a single digit number and what i do i just return that digit because that will be the sum else what i do i get that lsb of that n okay so n percentage 10 gives me the lsb digit and plus some of the digits of n divided by 10 the quotient of n divided by 10 okay so this happens so now how is this happening and how should we do in stack so let us represent sum of digit as sod okay so i want that okay sod 1 2 3 4 n is 1 2 3 4 so what will be happening okay so let's see so use a stack okay so let us make a stack and what i do sod 1 2 3 4 is the first thing i call okay sod so just make it a little bit bigger so so we have a stack and so first function call will be what so it will be sod 1 2 3 4 okay so first will be sod 1 2 3 4 what happens this is n is what here n is 1 2 3 4 so what i do if n divided by 10 the quotient is 0 so 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 is not 0 so i go to the else part and call return 
so i call return n percentage 10 so this 1 2 3 4 percentage 10 is 4 is the remainder plus sod and what is the number argument here n divided by 10 the quotient so it is 123 okay so this is the next one then what happens again sod 123 so 123 divided by 10 is not 0 the quotient so i come to the else part so here what happens so 123 percentage 10 is 3 plus sod of n divided by 10 so here it becomes 12 now what happens again 12 n is 12 for the next call so n by 10 12 by 10 the quotient is not 0 it is 1 so again it comes to return part and here 12 modulo 10 is 2 plus sod of so 12 divided by 10 is 1 the quotient so sod 1 it goes there now what happens 1 divided by 10 so the quotient is 0 so it returns what it returns me n so n was so it's a single digit number so it returns me so now we will go backward okay so now this called for us sod 0 okay so sod 1 was called okay so now sod 1 sum of digits for 1 so n by 10 is 0 here 1 by 10 so it returns 1 so this is equal to so now the back the popping of the stack elements will take place so let's see so sod 1 is returning now 1 so this is evaluated to 1 so now 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so this is popped out now so everything here is popped out so we pop out and the answer is coming to be 3 so sod 12 is 3 so now what happens 3 plus 3 is 6 so here 6 is evaluated this one and so sod so this returns 6 sod 123 is 6 so now what happens so this is 6 so 6 plus 4 is 10 so now this is popped out with value of 10 okay so 10 value comes out here and we have 10 here and this is popped out so 1 2 3 4 is 10 and if you can see also 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 so 10 comes out and everything after the function is done so the stack becomes empty again okay so this is the way for recursion in recursion what you need to do whenever you calling the for the first time put it on the stack here so i put sod 1 2 3 4 sod 1 2 3 4 in turn it called sod 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 this in turn called sod 1 2 this in turn called sod 1 okay so you keep on pushing onto the stack then you hit a base case here then you evaluate and pop out all the functions from the stack so this was about finding sum of digits of a given number using recursion so i hope you understand the what is recursion and how to use it so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and send me some comments thanks a lot